friends in this lecture we will be discussing classification of graphites as given by proskio 1957 so on this slide you can see there are various uh, pictures of graphites these are actually the gametophyte of the graphite this one is conocephalum this one is sporella this is plagiochasma this is dumortera this is the rosette form of uh, genus rixia and this is lunaria as you can see the lunate shape uh, gemma kappa are visible over there so i have included this slide just to show you how the gametophytic structure or you can say the thallus of the graphite looks like so let us move to the next slide so that uh, we can discuss the classification now classification of the bryophytes according to the proskure we can see that proskure has divided uh, division bryophyta into three classes one is hepatocopsida which is also known as liverworts the another one is anthocerotopsida which are known as hornworts and the third one is bryopsida which are also known as mosai and mosses so we can see that uh, this hepatocopsida or the liverworts are divided into some orders these orders are written over here so first order is tacaceous and it will include the uh, genus tacacia uh, what happened that during the time when udar uh, 1976 he believed that tacacia is an ancestor of hepatocopsida hence the tacacia should be kept in the hepatocopsida and by that time only the uh, female gametophyte was recognized and uh, no enthridium structure or Mm, no the sporophyte was recognized by that time by the time of udar so he uh, put uh, tacacia under the hepatocopsida and the first order because he thought that uh, this uh, tacacia or uh, tacaceals are ancestor of hepatocopsida but after the discovery of enthridium and sporophyte this tacacia was kept under um, bryopsida and uh, it was considered as the and sister of bryopsida and it was uh, kept under the subclass tacacidae and uh, under the class bryopsida and it was done by huguchi and zhang so you can just note down this thing over here that initially the tacacia or you can say the order tacaceals was kept under hepatocopsida uh, when udar uh, gave the description but later by huguchi and zhang this uh, tacaceals was transferred and it was uh, kept under the subclass tacaceidae under the class bryopsida okay so this is all about tacaceals and then the second order is uh, calobryals and this calobryals will include the two genus calobryum as you can see and the haplometrium then there is uh, another order known as jungermanials we will discuss about the jungermanials in next slide but we should uh, proceed with other orders over here and the other order is marchensials this marchensials order uh, includes many families which are in our course also marchensiaceae which includes genus marchensia family rixiaceae genus rixia family riboliaceae genus plagiochasma family targionaceae genus targionia and cythodium why i have mentioned these genus over here because uh, marchensia and rixia these are in the bsc grade or you can say in the ug level uh, course but uh, marchensia rixia plagiochasma targonia cythodium all these are in the uh, syllabus of msc or you can say in pg you have to study all these genus in your uh, msc botany the next order is pheriocarpels in which the family is pheriocarpes c and the genus is pheriocarpus and the another family is rylaceae and the genus is rila rila is an aquatic bryophyte we know and the next order is monocleals and the genus is monoclea so we'll just once again take the orders one by one of uh, class hepatocopsida so the division bryophyta showing three classes hepatocopsida anthocerotopsida and bryopsida in hepatocopsida tacaceals calobryals jungermanials marchensials pheriocarpels and monocleals the name of genus is tacacia calobryum haplometrium in the case of marchensials marchensia rixia plagiochasma targionia cythodium uh, spheriocarpus rila and monoclea so it is all about the uh, hepatocopsida then let us come to the uh, next class that is anthocerotopsida which are also known as hornworts the anthocerotopsida is also known as hornworts because the thallus of the anthoceros it shows the formation of sporophyte on the gametophytic thallus and the sporophyte comes out of the gametophyte and they 
form a horn like structure that's why these are known as horn words so anthocerotaphida will include one order that is anthocerotales and uh, family anthocerotaceae which include one genus that is anthoceros you can see over here and the other family is notothalaceae and it will include genus notothalus and the third class is bryopsida and it will include maasai and mosses so let us go to the next slide because we have to uh, discuss this order jungermanials of class hepatocopsida so okay so class hepatocopsida showing the order jungermanials so regarding the order jungermanials again there are uh, several views of uh, bryologist or you can say scientists so initially there was a artificial grouping of uh, order jungermanials into two groups and this artificial grouping into two groups was done on the basis of position of the archegonia so first artificial grouping of jungermanials was into two groups that is acrogyne and anacrogyne you can see there are two groups one is anacrogyne and the other one is acrogyne the anacrogyne is also known as mergerials proper and acrogyne is also known as jungermanials proper now what is the difference between anacrogyne and acrogyne so in case of anacrogyne the archegonia are present on the dorsal surface and the apical cell are not used or you can say the apical cell is not consumed in the formation of the archegonium so in case of anacrogyne the apical cell are not used and apical cell is not consumed in the formation of the archegonium and the archegonium are formed on the dorsal surface but in case of acrogyne the archegonium are present at the apex of the shoot as you can see acro means at the apex or the at the tip position and here gyne stands for the female reproductive organ that is archegonia so archegonia are present at the apex of the shoot and the apical cell is consumed in the formation of archegonium that means in the formation of the archegonium the apical cell is used or it is consumed so this was the one type of uh, classification of the jungermanials this artificial grouping on the basis of position of the archegonia now second type of classification you can say that it was given by verdun in 1932 and he gave each group as a status of an order so these two groups which are which we just discussed now verdun said that these can be given the status of an order so he included the two orders one is jungermanials and acrogyne and the other one is jungermanials acrogyne that means in those uh, genus in which the apical cell are not consumed those were included in the jungermanials and acrogyne and here where the apical cell is uh, consumed in the formation of the archegonia those were included in the jungermanials and acrogyne after verdun the evans evans was another scientist or you can say another biologist who was working on bryophytes so this evans he divided the order jungermanials into two suborders you can see the suborder 1 is mergerni and this suborder 2 is jungermanii as you can see the suffix is i n e a e suffix and here the suffix is mergerni so the suborder 1 mergerni is for jungermanials and acrogyne and the suborder 2 jungermanii was uh, for the Uh, jungermanii acrogyne it was according to evans but latest uh, if you discuss uh, that uh, schuster came in 1953 so he gave each group as in status of an order so schuster said that initially which we were talking about the artificial grouping so he said these two groups will be raised up to the uh, status of an order so he said there will be two orders separate orders one will be mergerials and the other one will be jungermanials and these uh, two orders were in coordination with the orders as we discussed in the previous slide that is marchensials pheriocarpels we have discussed other orders so according to schuster there were mergerials and jungermanials as you can see the suffix is a l e s it is according to the icun rules that uh, the uh, order will always have the suffix a l e s so icbn rules will say that the order should uh, end with the word ills okay so let us move to the next slide here we will be discussing the two orders as per the schuster mergerials and jungermanials so we can see first we will see the order uh, mergerials so um, the order mergerials includes uh, several families you can see over here the first family is peliaci it will include the genus pelia then the family ricardiaci it will include genus ricardia 
family blasiaci genus blasia family mergeriaci genus mergeria family pelavicinaci genus pelavicinia family tribuaci genus tribia family fosombronaci genus fosombronia so this is all about the uh, order mergerias now we will discuss the order jungermanials and this order is very large order and it shows near about uh, 220 genera 85000 species and near about 36 families so we will include those families over here only uh, which have the genus which we study in our course uh, first family porulaceae the genus porula then the family frullanaceae genus frullina and the other genus are cephalozoea lophozoea plagiocila lejunia huberta anthella scapenia diplophyllum so these are all the members of jungermanials which are actually the leafy forms so we should move to the next slide for the division of class blaupsida so the class blaupsida is divided into three subclasses but uh, we will see uh, from the various uh, previous classification that initially smith smith divided the class blaupsida into three subclasses and according to smith there are three subclasses one is phagnobraya the another one is andriobraya and the third one is eubraya so these are the three subclasses which are according to the smith after smith bauer and campbell gave there are three orders according to bauer and campbell uh, we can divide class into three orders according to smith there were three subclasses but according to bauer and campbell there are three orders one is sphagnales the other one is andriales and the other one is bryales after that rimer also classified the class bryopsida and he gave three subclasses under the class bryopsida so as per rimer we can say that there are five subclasses subclass 1 is phagnidae and it will include order sphagnales second class uh, subclass is andriidae and it will include order andriales the third subclass is bryidae and it include near about uh, 12 orders uh, one is funereales the fifth subclass is boxbomidae it will include order boxbomiales the fifth subclass is polytrichidae and it includes two orders one is polytricheales and another one is jasoniales as you can see through the name of order we can judge the name of the genus also the polytricheales will include polytrichum dasonia boxbomia here funeria andria sphagnum likewise but according to parihar there are three subclasses and these three subclasses will end with the suffix id a e id so according to parihar there are three subclasses uh, of uh, class bryopsida and three subclasses are one is phagnidae the sub subclass 2 is andridae and the subclass 3 is bryidae so you can see in the subclass phagnidae there is one order that is phagnales family sphagnaceae and genus is sphagna in subclass 2 which is andriidae it will include one order that is andriales family andriaceae and the genus andria and in subclass 3 which is bryidae it includes many order near about 15 orders are there and i have written few orders over here like physidentales funereales uh, buxbomiales and polytricheales and dawsonials okay so the first or order is physidentales uh funereals buxbomiales polytricheals and dawsonials there are several other orders near about 15 orders are there in uh, subclass 3 that is bryidae so it is all about the classification of bryophytes as per the uh, scheme given by uh, schuster so thank you